Hello students, I am Mrs. Sunita Rao, the director of Sharda Coaching Classes and moderator in subject science and technology for Maharashtra State Board in Don Bosco High School and Junior College. So, dear students, today we shall be learning the first chapter in algebra of standard 10th simultaneous equation in two variables. Simultaneous equation in two variables. First, let us see what do we mean by equation in two variables. Equation in two variable, for example, if I write 3x plus 5y is equal to 2, here we can see the coefficient is 3 and the variable is x which is one variable. Here the coefficient is 5 and the variable is y which is second variable. That means we have here two variable. Now why it is equation in two variable? As we have two variable but also it should have degree 1. The index, the power of the variable should be 1. That means x should carry or should have the power 1, x is 1, y is 1 and therefore this equation is simultaneous equation in two variable since it has the degree 1 as well as there are two variable x and y. Now what is the general form of simultaneous equation in two variable? That is ax plus by plus c which is equal to 0. Here a is the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y and c is a constant number. a, b and c all these are real numbers. These all are real numbers. They if it is equation in two variable and it's a simultaneous equation a should never be equal to 0 b should never be equal to 0. If a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0, that can never be a simultaneous equation in two variable. Now before I proceed further for solving the exercise 1.1, first we will find out which are the equations in two variable. You should be able to identify the equations in two variable. Let us see those and that is from the textbook page number 1. The first equation, it is 4m plus 3m is equal to 12. Now see the children, this is m and this is n. That means there are two variable. What is the degree of this? 1 and 1. So this one is simultaneous equation in two variable. Since it has two variable and the degree is also 1. So we can say this is a simultaneous equation in two variable. Now let us see for the second equation. 3x square plus 5y is equal to 2. Now here again we have variable 1 and the variable 2. There is x and there is y. So it can be variable 2. But is it a simultaneous equation in two variable? Because it is not. Reason? Because the degree of x variable is 2. Degree is 2. And therefore this equation is not a simultaneous equation in two variable. Now we will see for the third equation. The third equation is 0x plus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0. Students here we can see x as one variable, y as second variable. That means there are two variable but go to see the coefficient of 0 x. Coefficient of x is 0. That means a is equal to 0 and I said you 
if the coefficient of any one variable is equal to zero, that equation can never be a simultaneous equation. Now the fourth example, one upon x plus five upon y minus three is equal to zero. Now look at the equation we have x variable and we have y variable that means there are two variable but it is a simultaneous equation in two variable or not it's not the reason is if i take variable x in the numerator the index of x will become minus one when i am shifting x in the numerator this is numerator and this is denominator x index will be minus 1. Same as here when y I am shifting here y index will become y minus 1. Now you should know this index any number any variable all the real numbers and all the variable has index 1. Though it is not written but all of them has index 1. If this, if you go to see 3, 3 also has index 1. If you go to see 5, 5 also has index 1. If you go to see 1, 1 also has index 1. That means all the real numbers has the index 1. Same as the variables has the index 1. But numerator and denominator, when we are shifting any variable or any number from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator, then the sign of the indices will change. Now here we have x in the denominator and when we are shifting it to the numerator its index will become minus 1. Since its index is minus 1 it can never be a simultaneous equation in two variable. Now one more example I will show you root 2x plus root 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. Now if you go to see root 2 is there and root 3 is there. Whereas we have never found root numbers in any equation which are written on the board. But here it is a little different which has root in it. So first we will identify whether there are two variables or not. Yes, there is one variable x, there is another variable x. Why? That means it has two variables. So it is two variable. Let us see whether it is having index plus 1 or not. Yes x has 1, y also has 1 index. That means its degree is 1 as well as it has 2 variable. So it is a simultaneous equation in 2 variable. The coefficient of the variables does not matter whether they are in root or not. Now go for other equation. 2 root x plus 5 root y minus 2 is equal to 0. See, we have here x variable, we have here y variable. That means there are two variable. So, equation in two variable. But is it a simultaneous equation? For simultaneous equation, the condition is the degree should be 1 and there should be two variable. So, we got two variable. But are the degrees or is the degree 1 of every variable or both the variable? Let us see. If I remove the root 2 into, we need, okay, 2 into x power half plus 5 y raised to half, we can also say power minus 2 is equal to 0. Now see here, x is having a power half, which is not equal to 1 y has degree half which is not equal to 1. So it does not satisfy the condition of having the degree 1 but it satisfies the condition of having the two variable. That means it can never be a simultaneous equation in two variable. So dear students now you must have understood how to identify the simultaneous equations in two variable. The conditions are degree should be one of the variable and there should be only two variable. It should not have two degree. One more example I will show you. 
एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स वाई माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो सी देर इज एक्स वेरिएबल वन देन हियर सेकेंड वेरिएबल दैट मीन्स देर आर टू वेरिएबल बट वॉट इज द डिग्री द डिग्री इज टू सो इट कैन नॉट बी अ साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन वन मोर आई शो यू वन अपॉन एक्स या वी विल सी दिस इक्वेशन सी वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस फाइव अपॉन वाई I explained you by only considering the degree and index power. Let us see with other method. The other method is if I multiply y plus five x upon x y, which is equal to three. I shifted minus here three. If you go to see this. y plus 5x upon xy, y one variable, x another variable, xy again one more variable. If I again solve it, let me solve it here. y plus 5x upon xy is equal to three upon one. Now see what I'll get. I'll cross multiply. This arrow indicate the one will get multiplied with both the number in the numer numerator. And x y will get multiplied with three. What do I get? Y plus five x one into y y one into five x five x is equal to three x y. Now see here it is one variable, second variable. There are two variable, one variable, second variable. There are two variable. What what is the degree? The degree of y is one. Degree of x is one. What about the degree of this one and one? Since they both are multiplied, what is the sign between x and y? The sign between x and y is multiplication. And when there is multiplication sign between any two number, the index get added, and it will be one plus one, which is equal to two. So its degree is not two. If we solve Then also we are not getting the degree one, and if we consider only index by shifting it from the denominator to the numerator, then also we get minus one, which is not equal to one. So for a simultaneous equation, the degree should always be one, and it should have two variable. Now let us solve the exercise one point one. Now we shall be solving the exercise one point one. The first sum, three x plus two y is equal to twenty-nine. This is equation one. Five x minus y is equal to eighteen. This is equation two. Now see, in the first video, children, you saw. equation in two variable how to identify now we have to solve in this video how equation in two variable solving what do you mean by it getting the value of x and y what is the value of x and what is the value of y that is known as solving of equation and how to solve it for solving of equation there are two method one is substitution method and second is elimination method substitution method and elimination method we will see one by one first we will go with substitution method now there are two equation equation 1 and equation 2 x variable y variable the degree is 1 degree is 1 x variable y variable two variable degree is 1 degree is 1 that means these are simultaneous equation and we have to solve and get the value of x and y 
by which method by substitution method now here equation 1 has coefficient with x 3 coefficient of y variable is 2 in the second case x variable has coefficient 5 and y variable has coefficient 1 minus 1 because the sign is 1 minus therefore minus 1 so any one variable value I will remove and that value I am going to substitute in any equation now see here it has coefficient here also it has coefficient here it has coefficient here it has minus 1 coefficient but it will be easy for me to find out the value of y what I'll do you know I'll shift y this side and I'll shift 18 this side see how I'm going to do it 5x minus 18 is equal to y what is the sign of 18 plus but when I shifted it here it became minus what is the sign of variable y minus but when I shifted it on the other side of the equal it became plus plus is not needed to write down even if it is not written it shows that it is a plus sign positive sign now the value of y is 5x uh, minus 18 what I am going to do I am going to substitute this value in this equation what do you mean by substituting the value of any variable in any equation let me write this equation the equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to let me write it here equal to 29 I want to go for substitution method so value of y I am going to place it here in this equation where is y the y is here substituting means in place of y I must put the value of y see this 3x plus 2 in place of y y will be here so in place of y I will be placing the value of y y value is this so see bracket 5x minus 18 bracket close is equal to 29 now look at this equation in this equation now there is no y there is only x it has x here and it has x here that means it is only one variable now now let me solve it 3x plus see 2 is outside the bracket so what is the way of solving any number if it is outside the bracket it will be multiplied with every number which is inside the bracket so 2 get multiplied with 5x 2 into 5x minus 2 also get multiplied with 18 2 into 18 then comes equal and then 29 now let me write the value over there first is 3x so 3x second is plus 2 into 5 is 10 and already x variable is there so 10x minus 2 into 18 is 36 which is equal to now 29 see here this is 3x 10x but here it is only number so only variable is 1 that is x so with x variable 3x and 10x what is the sign in between plus so what does it mean I can add them so 3x and 10x that means 3 mangoes plus 10 mangoes equal to how many mangoes 13 mangoes so I can write 13 x minus 36 is equal to 29 this is the equal sign this side of the equal there is a number and the variable with coefficient this side of the equal there is a number that means the number is on both the side so let me shift all the number to one side of the equal 13 x is let me write here minus 36 equal to 29 I know the first chapter it will be very difficult for you all to shift the numbers so what I, therefore I wrote the equation again what I'll do I'm going to rub this number 
Rubbing means I carry that number in my hand. And where do I place? I have to put it to the, to the other side of the e equal. It is minus 36. The, the, the number was minus 36. I removed it. When I am shifting it, it will become plus 36. So what do I get? I get 13x equal to, add the number, 6 plus 9, 15, carry 1. 6 plus 9, 15, carry 1. 3 plus 3, 6, 65. So 13x is equal to 65. Now see, 13 and x are multiplied. And there is an equal and there is a number. You saw here, when there was minus 36, I shifted it on the other side and it became plus. And in the previous equation, when we were supposed to identify simultaneous equation in two variables, somewhere I shifted minus plus and I made it minus. So that we will see in the other question. Let us first concentrate on only minus. See, minus I shifted on the other side, it became plus. So it is what is happening? Opposite. If you shift minus from, from one side to other side, it will become plus. That means if I want to shift plus from this side to this side, it will become minus. See, if I take plus 36, it will become minus 36. If I am shifting minus 36, it will become plus 36. Same way here, 13x. What do you mean by 13x? 13 into x is equal to 65. What is the relation between 13 and x? They both are multiplied. Minus became plus, so multiply should become division. Opposite of multiplication is division. So what will happen? See, x will remain here only. Let me write it here again. I know the students find it easy to understand by this method. I'll rub 13. 13 is multiplied, so other side it will divide. Now 13 fives are, 13 ones are, 13 fives are. So x is equal to 5. I got the value of x where I wrote here question, number, question mark. x value I got 5. Now I need to find out the value of y. So what do I do? Now I'll be placing the value of x in any one equation. There are two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, and I'll be getting the value of y. So let me take this equation, equation 1. I'm taking equation 1 now. 3x plus 2y is equal to 29. Equation 1. So, placing value of x in equation 1. Equation 1 I have already written here. Let me write it again. 3x plus 2y is equal to 29. As I am going, to, I have written here, placing value of x in equation 1. This is the place of x. And what is the value of x? x value is 5. So in place of x, I will be placing the value of x. See, I'll rub it. I write here 5. I said you here. What is the relation between multiplication? So if I don't write that relation, it will become 35. So what is the relation here? Multiply. So let me write multiply. So 3 into 5 is 15 plus 2y is equal to 29. Let me rub this. The arrow is equal to 29. Now 15 plus 2y is equal to 29. See, number, this is the equal, this side is the number, this side is the variable, again the number. All the number I'll shift other side. So that means I'm going to shift 15 to this side, keeping the variable this side. So 2y, I'll write again, is equal to 29. Rub it. It is plus 15. It will go here, minus 15. 
opposite sign. If it is plus here, it will become minus. So 2y is equal to 29 minus 15. Calculate this. What do I get? 2y is equal to 29 minus 15. 9 minus 5, 4. 2 minus 1, 1. Or you can do one side, this side. 29 minus 15, 9 minus 5, 4, 2 minus 1, 14. So write here 14, 2y is equal to 14. Again see, 2y is equal to 14. Relation between y and 2 is multiplication. So what will happen? This is the variable, this is the number. I do not want number this side. If this side number is not there, so where should I take that number? That number should be taken to other side. This number I do not want here. Why I do not want? Because I want to get the value of y. So I will be rubbing this number. That means this, that number 2 is in my hand and I will be shifting it to other side. And relation between y and y and 2 is multiplication. Other side it will go, it will become division. So I rubbed it. It will divide. y is equal to 2 ones are 2 sevens are. So y is equal to 7. See, we got x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7. This is the solution of the equation. So let me write it here, y is equal to 7. To check whether the solution is right or not, let me place these value in any one of the equation. Let me place it in equation number 2. I am rubbing this. To check whether my solution is right or not, this is my equation number 2, placing values of x and y in equation 2. What do I get? 5x minus y. See, I'm only writing left hand side so that I must be confirmed whether the number is other side or not. Same uh, on the other side or not. See, 5x. What is the relation here? into x value is 5 minus y is what 7 5 is a 25 minus 7 25 minus 7 18 which is equal to right hand side what is the right hand side 18 so 25 minus 7 is 18 that means our equation our solution is correct whatever we have done so at the end See, this is for us to check whether whatever answer I have got is right or not. In exam, you just find the value and write down the solution set. Solution set is 5,7. Or you can also write down x is equal to 5, y is equal to 7. For this one mark is credited. If you do not write the solution set, you won't get the minus one mark. For solving this equation, the marks are three. For entire solution, two marks. For writing the answer, one mark. See, if you solve the entire sum and you only write up to here, you, won't, you will not get three mark. For writing solution set, one mark is given. We will see for the second sum. This was substitution method. We can solve the same equation by elimination method too. Let me solve this sum by elimination method. The sum is 3x plus 2y is equal to 29. Equation 1. And 5x minus y is equal to 18. Now how to solve this equation by elimination method? See, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. We are going for elimination method. First it was substitution method. Now we are on elimination method. 3x plus 2y is equal to 29. 5x minus y is equal to 18. Elimination 
the word elimination means eliminating the one variable and getting the value of another variable how to eliminate it compare the variables in the first equation x has the coefficient 3 second equation x has the coefficient 5 in the first equation y has the coefficient 2 plus 2 and y has the coefficient minus 1 these both coefficient has plus sign sign should never be seen behind it should be seen in front of the number and here the sign is plus here the sign is minus that means both are opposite sign but they are not equal even this here it is 3 it is 5 here it is 2 it is minus 1 we can make them equal and since the signs are opposite we can cancel them so to make them equal what do I do here it is 2 but here it is 1 I can do this multiplying equation 2 by 2 see I what I wrote multiplying equation 2 by 2 that means entire equation I must multiply by 2 how do I do it 5x into 2 minus y into 2 is equal to 18 into 2 see this entire equation I am multiplying the equation is 5x 5x minus y minus y 18 18 what did I do multiplied by 2 so when I am multiplying what I am getting 5x into 2 10x minus 2y is equal to 36 this is equation 3 now if I compare equation 1 and 3 let me write the equation 1 here 3x plus 2y is equal to 29 this is equation 1 if I compare them the coefficient of x is 10 coefficient of x is 3 coefficient of 2 is minus two, coefficient of y is minus 2 and coefficient of y is plus 2 so they both are equal coefficient but with opposite sign so they can be easily cancelled so operating I can write here operating equation 1 and 3 so what do what it hap what happens now see what is the sign of x variable Te plus 10x plus 3x both will be added so it will be 13x but this is minus 2y and plus 2y they both get cancelled eliminating and now what is left 9 plus 6 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1 65 so we get here 13 X is equal to 65 so again you see previously I said 13 and X what is the relation between X and 13 multiplication so what do I do I'll be 13 X is equal to 65 13 is multiplied with x so I'll remove it but other side it will be dividing 13 5 is 65 so I get x is equal to 5 now what I do placing value of x in equation in any equation placing value of x in any equation let us place it in equation 2 in 2 what do I get let me write the equation first 5x minus y is equal to 18 so where is x here is x so in place of x I'll be writing the value of x into 5 5 into 5 25 minus y is equal to 18 now I can do one thing I can shift y this side and I can shift 18 this side I'll get 25 minus 18 as sign of 18 is plus this side it will come it will become minus and sign of y is sign of y is what sign of y is minus it will go it will become plus 25 minus 18 is equal to 7 so y is equal to 7 so we got the value of x and we got the value of y at the end you have to write down the solution set so solution set is x is equal to 5 y is equal to 7
So one sum we saw by both the methods substitution as well as elimination. Let us see for the second sum. So student you must have understood and uh, I'll be clearing your doubt in whenever any uh, if you do not understand you can ask me. Let us go for first with the second sum. Again the second sum we will be solving by both the methods. The second sum is 5x plus 3y is equal to 9, 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. Now see, looking at equation 1 and looking at equation 2, we can look when in the exam it will be asked to solve by any particular method for example solve the equation by elimination method then only by elimination solve the equation by substitution method then by substitution method if they are not asking you to solve in any by any particular method that you solve it by substitution or elimination then you have to decide by which method you want to solve so first of all you have to see the coefficients and the signs of the coefficients now x variable has coefficient phi x variable has coefficient 2, both sign is plus, but both are not equal. y variable has coefficient 3, here in second equation y variable has coefficient 3, both are equal, but the signs are opposite. That means I can use elimination method. I can eliminate these two, uh, I can eliminate variable y and I can get the value of x. So I can easily say operating operating equation 1 and 2. So I am doing it directly here operating equation 1 and 2 C. Plus 3y now go for this 5x plus 2x 7x plus 3y minus 3y get cancelled is equal to 21 9 plus 21 sine of 9 is plus sine of 12 is plus so it will become 21. Now you get here 7x is equal to 21. The relation between x and 7 is what? Multiplication. Other side it will divide. So let me rub it and write it on the other side 7. 7 ones are 7 threes are. So x value is equal to 3. Now what is my first next step? Placing the value of x. In equation. In equation. In equation. 1. Let me write the equation 1. 5x plus 3y is equal to 9. Now when I, want, I have written the equation here, 5 into the relation between x and 5 is what? Multiplication. So 5 into in place of x, I will be writing the value of x. What is the value of x? 3 plus 3y is equal to 9. Multiplying 15 plus 3y is equal to 9. Now I want the variable value 3y. So what I will be doing, I will be shifting the number 15 to other side. It will go this side. When it is moving that side, what will happen? It will, what is the sign of 15 plus when it will move that side, it will become minus. So 3y is equal to 9 minus 15. 9 minus 15 is how much? 6 minus 6. Now what di why did I write minus 6 here? See sine of plus uh, 9 is plus and sine of 15 is minus. Which number is greater? 15 is greater. And what is the sine of 15? Minus. Since the 15 is greater number and therefore I will be writing minus sign here. Minus 6. So value of y will be 3y is equal to minus 6 y is equal, relation between y and 3 is multiplication, other side will be dividing, minus 6 upon 3, 3 ones are 3, 2 are, so y is equal to minus 2, so x value I got 3 and y value I got minus 2, students I told you to check whether my solution is right or wrong, 
So what do I do? I take any one equation and I place the value of those value which I have got in equation and check it whether my answer is right or wrong. So let me take equation 1. 5x plus 3y is equal to 9. I'll be placing the value of x and y in left hand side. This is left hand side and this is right hand side. See, this is equal. This side of equal is known as right hand side and this side of equal is known as left hand side. So I'll be taking this 5x, 5 into x. What is the value of x? x is 3. 3 plus 3 into y. y value is how much? Minus 2. Minus 2. 5 3 is a 15. Now here see. Plus, plus into minus is minus. 3 to the 6. 15 minus 6 is 9. I got the right answer. So this was by elimination method. Second sum will go for the third sum. Let's see, the, now we will solve sub number 3 of exercise 1.1. x plus 7 y is equal to 10 1 equation 1. 3 x minus 2 y is equal to 7 equation 2. Now, see in the previous equation, what we did, we equated the coefficient of the variable with opposite sign. In this e sum, we will be equating the coefficient of the variable with the same sign. What is the sign of x variable here plus sign of 3 uh, of 3x here plus so what i'll be doing here the coefficient of x is 3 here it is 1 so how do i get 3 if i multiply this by 3 so let me multiply equation 1 by 3 so multiplying equation 1 by 3 if I write multiplying equation 1 by 3 means full equation I must multiply by 3. So 3, let me write the equation x plus 7y is equal to 10 multiplied by 3 into 3 uh, equal 10 into 3 and into 3 means the entire equation is multiplied by 3. 3x plus 7 3 is a 21y is equal to 30. So this can be considered as equation number 3. So I have now equation 2 x variable 3 x, x, x coefficient is 3 and in equation 3 x coefficient is 3. That means they both are equal. Let me operate equation number 2 and 3. So operating equation 2 and 3. What do I get? Equation number 2, 3x, let me write here, minus 2y is equal to 7. This is equation 2. See, though they are opposite sign, but I did not equalize the coefficient of the y variable. I equalized the coefficient of x variable. Here there was no 3. I multiplied it by 3 and I got it 3 here. <coughs> now here see, the sign is plus sign is plus. So they both will be added. How do I cancel it if the sign is minus? So instead of operating, I can write down subtracting subtracting equation 2 from equation 3. So this is subtraction of equation 2 from equation 3. For subtraction I must write here minus since here plus sign is there so minus even though the sign is not written that means it is plus and here it is minus so it will be plus here it is plus it will be minus. So since it is plus and minus both are equal they can be cancelled 21y plus 2y now the sign of this variable is plus not minus. So 21y plus 2y is 23y. Both are plus so they will be added is equal to. Sign of this is plus, sign of this is minus. So 1 is plus, 1 is minus so they will be subtracted. 30 minus 7 is 23.
So I get here 23y is equal to 23. The relation between y and 23 is multiplication as I said before. So I'll write here again into y is equal to 23. So I'll rub it. So where will it go? It will go on the side. Since it is multiplied here, it will be dividing the other side. 23, 23 get cancelled. So we get y is equal to 1. So I got y value as 1. Now how do I get x value? I'll be placing the value of, to get x value, place the value of, placing value of y in equation, in any equation. Let me place it in equation 1, in equation 1. So what do I get? Now let me write the equation 1. x plus 7y is equal to 10. So where is the value of y? Where, where is the y? y is here. So in this place, I must place the value of y. What is the value of y? y value is 1. So x plus 7 into 1 is equal to 10. So x plus 7 into 1, 7 equal to 10. Now I'll be, I, to get the value of x, I should shift the 7 this side. When it will go this side, the sign is here plus, it will go that side, it will become minus. So x is equal to 10 minus 7. x is equal to 10 minus 7 is 3. So x is equal to 3. So I got the value of x as 3 and value of y as 1. So what is the solution of the equation? So solution set. Solution set is equal to 3 comma 1. So this completes exercise number. Uh, this completes the sum third. Now we'll be going on sum number 4. Sum number 4 is 5m minus 3n is equal to 19. 5m minus 3n is equal to 19. m minus 6n, m minus 6n is equal to minus 7. So this is your equation 1 and this is your equation number 2. Now earlier, so many sums we learned with the variable x and y. Now we are learning the sums with the variable m and n. So here m, vary, m is there and n is there. Here also m and n. So equation in two variable with the degrees 1. We will see their coefficients. Here five, m has 5 coefficient, here m has 1. Here n has 3 minus 3, n has 6. So what can I do? I can equalize any variable or uh, let me go, let me solve this sum by substitution method. Let us see by substitution method. Chal. What I'll do, I'll, I'll get any one of the variables value uh, in equation 2. See, why I'm taking equation 2? Because m is having the coefficient 1. So it will be easy for me to get the value of m and substitute the value of m in equation 1 instead of taking any one variable from equation 1 which will be which is already having a coefficient. So let me take this equation 2. What will happen? m I will keep this side only and then I am going to shift that side. Minus 6n is equal to minus 7. What I will do? I will rub this and shift it that side. Since it is minus, it will become plus 6n. So what is the value of m? m value is minus 7 plus 6n. Now I will place this value of m in equation 1. Now what I will write here? Placing value of m in equation 1. What do I get? I'll let me write the equation 1. 5 m minus minus 3n is equal to 19. See, I am writing it here 
by leaving some space so that it will be easy for me to rub it and place the value of m. See, m value is this. So in place of m, I'll be writing the m value. So this is m, I'll rub it and I'll write the value of m. Minus 7 plus 6n and close the bracket. Now what happens? Outside the bracket there is 5 and this get multiplied with every term which is in the bracket. These, this is the bracket, these are the term in the bracket and 5 is outside the bracket. It get multiplied with everything. See, I am putting the arrow. This arrow means that it, this 5 is getting multiplied with both the term. So 5 multiplied with minus 7. 5 into minus 7 plus 5 into 6n minus 3n is equal to 19. Now multiply this. 5 into minus 7. 5 7s are 35. But sign is what? Minus 5 into 6n plus 5 6s are 30n minus 3n is equal to 19. Now see, this is the number, but these are variables. This variable, this coefficient with the variable will never get added with this. Only the variables will be get minus 35 plus, see, 30 has the sign plus and 3n has the sign minus. 1 is plus, 1 is minus, subtraction. Now 1 is plus, 1 is minus, subtraction. 30 minus 3 is 27n. Sign of the greater number, greater number is 30, so it is plus is equal to 19. So minus 35 plus 27n is equal to 19. Now what I, I want the value of n, so I, n I will keep this side only and this is the equal and the number I am going to shift this side. So when minus 35 is shifted this side, plus 27n is equal to 19, minus is there, it will become plus 35. Add both number 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 1, 54. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 54. So 27n is equal to 54. Now relation between n and 27 is multiplication. So I'll be dividing to get the value of n. 54 upon 27. 27. We can see it here. If you don't know the 27 table, 27. Foza, Fiza, or uh, Tuza. We will see Tuza. 2 7s are 14. Carry 1. 2 2s are 4 plus 1, 5. So 27 Tuza. So we get n, as, n is equal to 2. We got the value of n as 2. Now to get m value, I can place this this m value into n value into this equation. So what do I get? Let me rub this. See. We have here m is equal to minus 7 plus 6n. And I got n value as 2. So I'll place the value of n here is equal to minus 7 plus 6 into 2 is equal to minus 7 plus 6 to the 12 multiply them is equal to 7 minus 12 1 is minus 1 is plus so we will do subtraction 7 minus or 12 minus 7 is 5 sign of the greater number as I did here before see 30 has plus sign 3 has minus sign so sign of the greater number here here also 12 has plus sign and 7 has minus sign. Which is the greater number? 12 is the greater number. So I will have here plus sign. So m value is equal to 5. I got the value of m and I got the value of n. So at the end I must write down solution set. Solution set m is equal to 5. You can write in the bracket 5 comma 2. Now we shall go for the next sum. That is, let me write it on the board.
this is the second last sum of the exercise 1.1 5x plus 2y is equal to minus 3 x plus 5y is equal to 4 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now here you can decide which method you want you want to use elimination method or you want to use substitution method now as we did previous sum with substitution again we will do it by substitution method only find the value of x and place the value of x into L equation 1 and get the value of y so x is equal to see to get the value of x I need to shift 5 y this side so x is equal to what 4 minus 5 y now placing value of x in equation 1 so let me write the equation 1 5x plus 2y is equal to minus 3 so here it is 5 and here it is x in this place I'll be writing the value of x this is the value of x so 5 relation between x and 5 is what multiplication so it not it is not needed to write multiplication just write the bracket it will be multiplication only value is 4 minus 5y plus 2y is equal to minus 3 now I will multiplying anything outside the bracket will be multiplied with everything inside the bracket so what I get 5 into 4 minus 5 into 5y plus 2y is equal to minus 3 now 5 for the 20 minus 5 is a 25y plus 2y is equal to minus 3 now see 20 cannot be added with 25 as this is with the variable this is without the variable you can say these are 20, 25 mangoes and these are 20 apple if I say how many mangoes are there you can't say 45 mangoes if 20 apples are there and 25 mangoes are there and if you add still it will remain 25 mangoes only you can't say 45 mangoes so this is the number this is the variable you can't add them only variable with the variable can be added so 20 1 is minus 1 is plus so 1 is minus 1 is plus what will happen subtraction so only these two numbers will be subtracted 25 and 2 sign is minus and plus so subtraction 25 minus 2 will be 23 y what will be the sign it will be plus it will be minus sign because the greater number has minus sign and the smaller number has plus sign so it will be minus sign is equal to minus 3 so 20 minus 23 y is equal to minus 3 Again, this one is the variable and this one is the number. This one is the number. Number I'm going to shift to other side. So this side it will be 23y is equal to minus 3. Sign of 20 is plus. This side it will become minus 20. So minus 23y is equal to minus minus. If the sign are both minus, then instead of subtraction, it will be addition. This is addition and subtraction, not multiplication. So both are minus, so they both will be added. Minus 23. So y will remain here. Y and 23 are multiplied, so y will remain here. 23 will go to other side. Is equal to, this is minus 23. This one will come down. Minus 23. See, here it is minus 23. Now I rubbed it and it is coming here. Minus minus get cancelled, 23, 23 get cancelled, y is equal to 1. So we get the value of y as 1. Now I must place the value of y and get the value of x. So this is the x is equal to 4 minus 5y. In place of y, I'll be placing the value of y x is equal to 4 minus 5 
into what is the value of y? 1. So I will be writing here 1, 4 minus 5. Again, see, 4 has sign plus and 5 has sign minus. 1 is plus, 1 is minus. So what will happen? Subtraction. So subtract 5 and 4, it will be 1. Now what will be the sign? Sign will be minus or plus, it will be minus. Because the greater number is 5 and greater number has sign minus. So x is equal to minus 1. So solution set is... minus 1 comma 1 now we will see for the last sum children any doubt will be there we will be going through the zoom app and you can easily we can easily clear it let us go for the last sum of exercise 1.1 The last sum is 1 upon 3x plus y which is equal to 10 upon 3. This is equation 1 and the second equation 2x plus 1 upon 4y which is equal to 11 upon 4. Now, previously all the equations were easy, variables were there and coefficients were very easy. But here, if you go to see, in these two equations, the coefficients are a fraction, 1 upon 3 in this. And here with y variable, there is 1 upon 4. So this makes you to scare how to solve the sum. But it is very easy. See, if it is not in the form of fraction, you can easily solve it. So first thing we will do is, we will eliminate this fraction of equation 1. And we will eliminate the fraction of equation 2. How can I do it? I want to cancel those fractions. So how can I do it? If I multiply this entire equation by 3, I will get that fraction 3, which is in denominator, cancelled. So let me multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 4. So what do I get? See, 1 upon 3 x into 3. Every term I must multiply by 3 plus. This is y multiplied by 3. Next, 10 upon 3 multiply by 3. So what happened now? See, 3 and 3 get cancelled. So left is x plus. 3 into y, 3y is equal to 3 and 3 get cancelled, 10. So this will be equation number 3. Now look for the second equation. This is the last sum and we are finishing with the exercise 1.1. I hope children you must have understood well. Now let me write the second equation. 2x plus 1 upon 4y is equal to 11 upon 4. I said here, multiplying the equation 2 by 4. So I am multiplying the equation 2 by 4. See, this is into 4, into 4, into 4. Each term I multiplied by 4. So what happens now? 4 to the 8x plus 4 and 4 get cancelled. Y it is equal to 4 and 4 get cancelled, 11. This is equation number 4. Now my equation number 3, let me write this here. 8x plus y is equal to 11. Equation number 4. Now see, earlier they were in the form of fraction, but now they are in the form of linear equation. They are not in the fraction. So it becomes easy for me to eliminate any one of the term and solve the value uh, and get the value for other variable. So first I'll see. Here the coefficient of x is 1, here the coefficient of x is 8, which is not equal. Here the coefficient of y is 3 and here the coefficient of y is 1. So any one we can equalize by multiplying. See here there is 3, here there is no 3. So I can do this. I can multiply this entire equation by 3 and I can eliminate it. So let me multiply equation number 4 by 
3. What do I get? I get, let me multiply it here, into 3. So what do I get? 8 threes are 24x plus 3y is equal to 33. And the first equation is x plus 3y and is equal to 10. This is my fourth equation and this is my third equation. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to subtract equation number 3. Subtracting equation 3 from 4. So what do I get? This is plus sign, so it will become minus. This is plus, minus. This is plus, it will become minus. Subtracting 24x minus x, 23x plus 3y minus 3y getting cancelled nothing 33 minus 10 23 so I get 23x is equal to 23 so multiplication is there between x and 23 so I can remove this and I can write it down which will get cancelled so x is equal to 1 now I'll be placing the value of x in any one equation getting the value of y how to place let me select equation number 3. Now this is my equation number 3. x plus 3y is equal to 10. In this I am going to place the value of x. So this is x. So 1 plus then this is 3y. Then the 10. So now number will shift this side. And 3y will remain this side. 10 minus 1. This is plus, it will become minus. So 3y is equal to 9. Again, this is multiplied, so it will go other side, it will divide. So 3y is equal to 9, so it will divide other side. 3, 3 is a, and what do I get? y is equal to 3. So x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. So solution set is 1 comma 3. So children, we are done with the exercise 1.1 of standard 10th. We will see in the next video 1.2 exercise with the graphical, by solving the graphical method.